Yes, still got it. I know what you're thinking. Welcome to O2 Inside Line Live. I'm James Haskell. That was the cheesiest entrance to anything I've ever done. But two men who aren't cheesy, were absolute heroes of the game. Ellis Genge, Joe Launchbury, welcome along. Hey boy, how are you getting on? Yeah, yeah, good for you. I can feel a lot of enthusiasm coming off you two. <laughs> it's a long day. It's a long, long day? day. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Pleased to be here, pleased to be here. You've got a guest superstar. They're paying big money to have me here. You should I'm be happy, very excited. I'm happy, I'm happy. <laughs> very excited. Um, it's been two weeks since the sausage, no, two weeks since you played uh, against Scotland. Mm. What have you been doing? Uh, training. Uh, we had a fallow week, which is all right to get a few days off, but back in this week. I haven't done much, mate. Where'd Airplane, you go? Uh, Bristol. <laughs> nah, and Leicester. We're Leicester this week, yeah. What, for Fallow Week in Leicester? Or, or, or? Oh, as in with the boys. Yeah, yeah. Where are we going? Kensington. Kensington. Yeah. It was alright, went to Cirque du Soleil. Very nice. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Cultural. Not my cup of tea. Boys was it not? Boys didn't like it, no. Why, why didn't you like it? Hard seats, too long. It is very hard in the theatre, isn't well, it? For a bigger like gentleman. That, do you know what I mean? How do you fit the, the bigger toilet in one of them seats? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Mate. <laughs> yeah, because I could because I always get the old full arthritis set up in those in those yeah. seats like that, and yeah. not great. What have you is, what have you been doing with your downtime? Why, just that? Training uh, heavily pregnant missus at home as well. So, so you've been spending all your time here, have you? Yeah, trying to get, away? Try to get into camp as much as I can. <laughs> yeah, came back a day early. Yeah. So that actually we had some former teammates that used to say camp started a day early and then one of them found them in a, going in a cafe around the corner and said, listen, oh, if you are going to lie, please don't go to our <laughs> local cafe. Um, how is training going after the Cirque du Soleil? You all right? Yeah, it's all right. Um, obviously prep now, isn't it? Prep week, uh, as you well know. Um, so it's sort of uh, done, toned down a bit, but it's obviously less... Uh, it's not about getting the bodyguard now, is it? It's about sort of prepping for, for the game. So a uh, bit more detail on it, but we've got a, got a bit more downtime as well, haven't we? Which yeah, is nice. Bit, yeah. Eddie Finney, all right, is he? A lot of downtime. <laughs> <laughs> was, um, was today, is today, Wednesday's quite a hard day, isn't it? It's just because it's a Sunday game, I guess, obviously, um, starting on Monday. Oh, which feel, feels like it's, we've had more time off. Oh, OK. When's the, when's the mega day? Tomorrow's the main day, yeah. yeah. Ten hours tomorrow. Oh, is it? Boys feeling confident? Yeah. Anyone I need to run over in the car park? Because now I'm not involved, I can just take them out. If we you need can. to take them out, I'll t- half a match for you, I'll, I'll yeah. do a job. Put, Dick, <laughs> put, put Dickie out, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah, take Dickie Test out. Match. No problem. Um, obviously, you're getting back to Twickenham, uh, you know, the, the home. Is there a better place to play and play than, than Twickenham? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's, yeah, like you said, it's been a bit of a strange start, really, with two away games. Um, so it's felt like a long time since we played there. So now it'll be a great opportunity for us to get back and, and play at home. I think, speaking on behalf of the lads, I think we all love playing at Twickenham. It's such a great place to play. Um, so, yeah, I think we're. Obviously excited about the challenge against playing Ireland because they're a fantastic side, but being back at Twickenham as well makes it um, all the more special, really. Do you, do you find it hard with that extra time off to, to, to ramp up again for a game, or is it quite nice the body just feels fresh enough for you to go again? I find it harder in the fallow weeks to sort of... Um, Motivate to get, yeah, yeah. To a degree, yeah, because obviously you've got nothing to, to steam into at the end of the week. Uh, but coming back in after a few days off, obviously, you're, your energy's high again, uh, so boys flying into things. And yeah. the bright lights at Kensington, obviously slightly different than, than bag shot. Yeah, it? exactly. Oh, yeah. nice. Well, listen, we've got some quick fire questions because we've got some unbelievable viewers of the O2 Inside Line Live, and they are incredible. So, but these are quick fire ones that I need you to rattle off. Rattle off real quickly. That's what quick fire is. I'd have to explain it to you. <laughs> um, obviously, because you're in. Oh, well, we're going. Fine. Simon Holroyd wants to know favourite curry. Me, uh, chicken chili garlic masala. God, well, that's quick. Um, quick fire. I'll mate. be. Uh, Papatia, chicken Papatia. <laughs> nice. Matt Nib. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Nib. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Uh, Sheila. Sheila. Yeah. Sheila. Is it no, oh, oh, the Sheila. Right, okay, fine, yeah. Uh, Danny Huntley, what's your favourite sausage? Uh, One Cumber- that doesn't wear a barber? No. Yeah, Cumberland. Cumberland? Yeah. Jolly Hog. Jolly Hog. Oh, Brand yeah. sponsorship, lovely. Um, Anna Lejeune, uh, who has taken over from James Haskell as the Archbishop of Banterbury? Worst nickname ever. I didn't actually come up with that nickname. I'm but you went with it for a long time. I did. I went with it. I you can't have come up with it, but you carried it on. It was on T-shirts on. and action figures. Um, who you is the Joker? Not Sam Underhill. No. There's no. a few, yeah, definitely a few non-Jokers. Yeah. yeah. We've probably got less funny people now. Really? Yeah. You say you said there's a role for me back there. Do you yeah. reckon Eddie will make a role? Like Head of Laughter or something? You're trying, you're yeah. trying to get back in. So <laughs> you're one, I'm you're, you're He's eased his way back into the back in kit. They wouldn't let me pass the gates, but now I'm in. I've got my own kit. The cockroach. The cockroach, mate. Hey, someone described me once as the uh, international equivalent of an unflushable turd, so I'll take that as my, as my thing. Um, that was in the newspaper as well, that's how loved that was. Um, Kirsty Oaks, uh, if you could get back in time and tell your 10 year old self one thing, what would it be and why? Don't eat yellow snow. Don't eat yellow snow. Haircut choices? <laughs> I'm, old. I'm happy with my haircuts. Oh, right, happy with the haircuts, <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, probably work harder at school, yeah. Really? I thought you were quite studious. Not as much as, no. Nah. 
Oh, I thought you were like manager at Sainsbury's, weren't you? You were top head boy. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy um, at a bakery section. Yeah, he was at bakery section. You know, you know, you obviously heard the story that he used to damage the donuts so he could eat them. Pro- profit, <laughs> profit took a hit in that, in that, in that well, local Sainsbury's. Honestly, so. it was a profit. They couldn't understand it. He stacked the shelves real well, but profits were rock bottom. Um, <laughs> Lucy Oakley. Well, this is quick fire, not the No, thing. no, chat, chat. It's my show, we're live, doesn't matter. Um, Lucy Oakley. I mean, I can't believe they welcomed me back for another week. I thought I wasn't getting a call. Obviously, Vernon's sick again. Um, Lucy Oakley, A12. How'd you get into the, how'd you get into the right mindset for a game or training? Uh, music. You use music? Yeah. Same pre-session, a normal training session? Playlist for each. Or is this because Eddie screams at you, you know, if you don't go hard, he's going to come in. put the headphones in so I can't hear it. Yeah, right. fine. What about you? Probably a bit of footage, make sure I'm, I'm pretty clear on my roles and especially like line-up stuff. Happy days. Um, Charlie Brennan, uh, Ellis is known as the Baby Rhino. What's your nickname, Joe? <laughs> Be honest. Well, be, be honest. honest. I have just been the, the baby faith. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll go along that line. Slosh. 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 Yeah. Slosh, yeah. Uh, young. Um, who does he look like? Who's the guy? The uh, uh, young Bill Beaumont. <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> He's right, that keep, keep, keep it. Keep it rolling. Yeah, keep it rolling. <laughs> Shut up, that's right. Jack Holland. Do you have any pre-game rituals or superstitions? Um, not anymore, no. I used to, not anymore. Yeah, because there's no point having them in case something happens and you yeah, can't do them. Yeah, control it. No, no, no. I used to like to go laughed up, but then when I took your job of captain at Wolf, I kind of got to go. had to change that and go first. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Right, we've got to move on from there. Um, now, okay, listen, we've got a couple of fan questions. They're actually, uh, they've recorded themselves um, sending in videos, asking questions from our unbelievable England fans. First up is Oscar, if you watch the screen. Hi, Hi, my name's Oscar and I play rugby for Lincoln under 10s and I just wanted to ask the team a question. What's your favourite food to have before you start a rugby match? Good luck on Sunday. Cheers, Oscar. Good question. Uh, beetroot at the moment. What, just beetroot? Hi, oh, England. Yeah, Genji's gone, you into the Genji's toilet gone vegan 24 hours before. Oh, you 24 have yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm smashing beetroot, yeah. What, just beetroot? On its own when I drink that, yeah. Right, okay. Blended. Lovely. Thought you were. I'm you definitely not as excited as that. I'm very much more just a rice than sort of bolognese kind right. of standard. Rugby, standard. R- pretty much milk. You don't do the thing where you have like the rice, salmon, bolognese. You know, like when you get a buffet. I, 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 that's about buffet. a buffet. <laughs> 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 no, but do you know when you came here, you started getting weak, eat weird eating habits. We yeah. having fish, meat, th- all these things on one plate instead of having one separate meal. Uh, I'm vegan at the moment, so my oh. meal comes out, yeah, honestly. I thought you'd lost a little bit of something. Sounds like personality from the sounds. Of <laughs> um, right, another fan video. <laughs> Hi England, we've got two questions today. I hope you're feeling well. And what's your favourite meal on this cooking book? And when will you come to our club, Effingham and Leatherhead, RFC? Good luck in the Six, Six Nations. Nations. That book is Effingham good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Billy and Frank. Thank you, Billy and Frank. I, I, I weren't paying you to do that either, so I'm pretty happy. Obviously, you've got, have you got a copy of that? I haven't been sent one. Huh? Signed, yeah. You have got one? Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite recipe? Chicken shawarma, probably. Chicken shawarma. Yeah, chicken shawarma is really <laughs> healthy. Um, French toast for breakfast. Do not go. Do you like, what do you, what do you want? No, I don't like French toast. Sorry. Do you not like French toast? <laughs> Looking at you would say different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up, another question. Hello, Blinking Lads. I'm moving from tag rugby to contact rugby. Please may you give me your best advice. Go England. Yeah, I think it looks like he's got some good energy already about him, so uh, I just bring, bring that into the contact, really. I'd focus on leg tackle technique and, and, and uh, going around the legs, really, and just a bit of aggression. Um, next up, we have got Alfie, I think. Hi, guys. My question for you is, who takes the longest over their hair on a match day? Not Alfie, by let's think. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Alfie and I go to the same hairdresser. Um, Hello, mate. Well, it's obviously not me. Uh, 40, I'd say. Or Slady. Slay- yes, yeah, definitely Slady. One or the other. Yeah, it's one of the backs, def- again. 40's definitely like an undercover... Uh, like lid perfectionist, is but Slady's quite open. He's, yeah. yeah, but I think Ford is quite, he's quite squared away, and he's got to have everything lined up nice. He's always got a little pot of uh, pot of inside of his bag, just ready yeah. to go. Any, any what? F- lid, lid gear, just, just on the go, just what? in case. Happy days. Um, okay, well look, we've got a new game this week. Oh, you've got one more question. Sorry, one more question. Hello, my name is Sophie. I'm like, I want to know if it, you want to an England match. So I want to know if anyone in the England team is autistic like him. You've obviously had some stuff with dyspraxia. Yeah, um, I don't know if anyone's autistic, Leo. I don't think everyone's been tested. Um, I'm sure there's people on the spectrum. Uh, that's why it's called a spectrum, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably not. I'm suffered with dyspraxia and uh, never let it limit me and what I can do. So good luck to you, mate. Uh, but no, I don't think anyone is. I'm sure there will be someone, but we don't know. 
but don't let it limit you. That's the advice. Crack on. Right, now we've got a new game this week. After uh, Pindaloo was voted the worst game in the world. What's Pindaloo? Uh, oh, you don't want to see it. It was terrible. Really? If you want to follow me over here, we're going to check out this new game called Pindaloo. They See Me Rolling. Yeah, yeah, but that's our. But we couldn't afford a proper soundtrack, so we just got a bloke called Bunker doing noises. Okay, it's very simple, lads. Um, each go in turn. Take your balls. There we go. Simple, is it? Simple, Not sort like of simple, but no go. Okay, you need to throw a ball back. Go on, Bunk, throw it back. Um, and we basically add up the scores. And do you know what? You can knock each other off. Oh, so bowls essentially. It's like century bowls, yeah. But we're calling it. They see me rolling. Yep. Do we have to throw it? Or you can, can do. You can throw it or roll it. Whatever technique you find. Yeah. You're probably an expert, aren't you? In some, yeah, some... I've played a lot of bowls in my time. Thank <laughs> you. We offer it. You're gone in. I can backspin first one. Too much. Too hard. Ah. Oh. Oh. See, it's not as easy as it looks, gents, is it? No. no. Go on. Great Go on. Go on. Oh no! Hit the rim. Not for the first time. No. Just yeah, building no. a little wall. Yeah. Build the wall. Oh, okay. Well, you spun that. We spun it away. Mate, you can't get it on because of the lip. <laughs> Is this it's not going well, lads. Or? Hopefully, Ireland won't see this footage. Oh. Yes. Oh, Excellent. Oh, Here well we done. 500 each. Oh, oh great. Go on, Judas. Slosh. No. Still five, 500 apiece. <laughs> You deserve that. And he's actually done Trying himself. You deserve that. Way. Hopefully, launches will knock himself off. Launches wins, 100 points. Congratulations. <laughs> well done, launch. All that line-out skill and finesse. Sorry, mate. Better luck next time. Um, right. Obviously, we're playing Ireland this week. We focused on what we're doing before, but it's a massive game against Ireland um, on Sunday. Always a great game when the Irish come to town. Very exciting. Yeah, improved a lot, but so have we. So we'll see how we go on. And how exciting, I can hold your excitement back, I can feel it, to see Manu and Slady back in, back in the squad, back in the mix this weekend. Yeah, it's great to see them back, obviously. Manu was here at the start and obviously got an injury where Slady's been out for a little while now, so great to see them both back. And I think it adds to, adds to the competition, really, obviously. I think the, the back line's been going pretty well so far, but adding those two guys in only adds to that. Obviously, a bit of a tough start to the, to the start of the Six Nations. Uh, loss against France, good win against Scotland. Is there still a, a large amount of belief about this Guinness uh, Six Nations? Yeah, of course. Obviously, uh, your most important game is your next game. Uh, very cliche, but it's very true in this tournament. Uh, anything can happen, and we've prepped well. We're quite confident going into it. Well, very excitingly, it's competition time. If you share this footage, and it is quality footage, I'm going to say that now, you will win an opportunity to get tickets for an England Barbarians game, which we will draw at random. So please share and give us a, a follow. But what's even more exciting than me gobbing off on a Facebook Live is this Rising Suns VT. They were a group of sportsmen facing the biggest challenge of their careers to win the Rugby World Cup in the Far East. What are you doing? The England squad were followed by an embedded camera crew, capturing their planning and preparations. That's what we're training for, guys. Then behind the scenes of Japan as the tournament unfolded and the team progressed. We're pushing it, we're pushing it constantly. It was a journey of discovery, <laughs> finding friendship, building a team, and seeking personal and professional fulfillment. There's a buzz here. You can see that people want this. Right from the first kickoff, we're going at them. This sport at its absolute best. While restoring the pride of a rugby nation. It's a game of rugby. The biggest game that you could be a part of. The ultimate aim to return as champions. They were England rugby's rising sons. Well, what a go, baby. And this is their story. Very exciting footage is on ITV at 11.05 this Friday, so you get an opportunity to watch it on TV. Um, lads, that's all we've got time for this week, sadly. Uh, good luck against Ireland. You've both been fantastic guests. Sorry it's a bit short. I know you wanted to spend a bit more time. I'd like to get a bit more in-depth, but due to legal reasons, I'm only allowed to be on uh, Facebook Live RFU for 15 minutes at a time. Um, if you want to find out more, then please give us a follow on all of the England Rugby channels. Uh, I'm James Haskell. This was O2 Inside Line Live, lads. Go and win a game, yeah? Cheers, Cheers. 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 Cheers.